tell his own wife. The Lord giveth. The Lord taketh away. But bless. Oh, come on here, somebody. In a midnight season, refusing to use his mouth in a negative way against God. Recognizing that God permitted the midnight. He allowed the midnight. And see, that's the thing about walking with God, that you can actually be praying that something goes away that God has sent. Come on. I said, I permitted that season to come. And what I want out of you, son, is for you to give me thanks. It ain't no such thing as I'll praise him when I come out. No, you go praise him while you in. Now you may come out with a greater praise, but you still got to magnify, you got to glorify God in the midnight season. I didn't get to where I'm at. Without learning how to be thankful. Listen, in my midnight seasons. But also when you consider midnight, that time of suffering, that time where you're facing challenges, midnight is also a season. Listen. That can be brought home through sin, error, or disobedience. Come on, I want to teach it right today. See, it's not just that some folks are suffering, but they brought on the suffering. Not just that you're in trouble, but you brought on the trouble. Your disobedience is the cause for the trouble. And you say, Pastor, why if I brought on the trouble, if I caused the midnight, why arise and give him thanks? You arise and give him thanks for his mercy. That even though I brought midnight in my life, God gave me something that I really did not deserve. What did he give you? An opportunity to repent a turn. See, don't, don't act like you ain't ever caused the midnight. Don't ever act like you ain't ever been. Lord, some of y'all looking at me. In Acts 27, Paul left on a voyage as a prisoner on a particular ship that he warned the people, we don't need to, to leave out. We need to stay right here. But the folk looking at Paul as an a, a apostle that's in prison, they weren't willing to listen to him. But they listened to the helmsman of the ship. They listen to the professionals in reference to the ship. But guess what? When they refuse to listen to God speaking through Paul, it brought on midnight. And they ran into a storm. See, sometimes we bring storms in our lives. And Paul, after fasting and praying, said to the men, look, you should have listened to me and not departed from here. Nevertheless, if you obey God, nobody's life will be lost, saving the ship. See, what was Paul saying to them? We need to be thankful. Y'all need to take Courage, because God is going to show us some mercy. Let, let me preach for about a few moments to people who called midnight. People who brought in suffering. Folk who been disobedient. And that's why trouble is here. You are a Jonah. Jonah disobeyed God and it brought about a storm. Come on. 
whenever we disobey God, you going to bring in a midnight season. But you got to know as a child of God, even when you mess up. Yes, I said mess up. When you do the wrong thing, when you say the wrong thing, when you act the wrong way, don't just sit there. Don't play dead. Don't roll over. Get up. Arise. Acknowledge your sin. Acknowledge what you did wrong. Acknowledge your disobedience. Get up. Give God. Thank Lord. I thank you. This could have killed me. I thank you. Could have died and went to hell. Thank you for your mercy. Come on, even though there are times we messed up, God was still so good to us that he still didn't permit certain things to get worse. He still was showing us great mercy. Yes. 